A very good evening. My name is Dr. Anisa from the Department of Community Medicine, and today we will be discussing the Dalvin and Whitehead model of the social determinants of health. As you can see, health in this particular diagram is not determined by a single factor but by a multitude of factors. And even though this model was initially released in 1991, it still holds as true now as it was then. The individual lifestyle factors, including the non-modifiable factors such as age, sex and constitutional factors, form the inner core of this model. This is then surrounded by social and community networks, which is further surrounded by the general socio-economic, cultural and environmental conditions such as agriculture and food production, education, work environment, unemployment, water and sanitation, healthcare services and housing. All of these factors play an independent as well as synergistic role with each other in terms of health. Not only does it impact an individual's health directly, it also impacts the type of disease that the person is affected as well as the health seeking behavior of an individual's needs. This does not just encompass physical health, but also includes mental health. The reason why we need to know about these various socio-economic, social determinants of health is because only when you target these social determinants of health can we truly achieve a perfect state of health as defined by the World Health Organization. Thank you.